Hi, I'm now going to cover a new to uh, product that we're adding onto the tvtrade.ie website, which is an adjustable attenuator, okay? So you can see it here anyway, and the basic um, logic of how and when uh, you would use this, okay, is when you have a situation where you fear that you might be feeding too much signal um, uh, into a distribution system, and it'll cause uh, all types of interference problems, okay? So basically, anyway, when would this occur? Well, what you can have a situation where you might be in a very poor reception area, where, well, for instance, you're using a TV area like this, okay? And you decide, anyway, because the signal initially is too low, you're going to come along and put under it, let's say, a mass and amplifier or a power unit, or possibly even just a distribution amplifier like this, which will give a certain dB boost to the signal, okay? So what, what you can have is you can actually get into the trouble, uh, obviously, where you have a signal that's too low, but equally you can have a lot of problems if you have a signal that's too high, okay? And uh, take, for example, if we had a, a, this signal coming from the aerial into this distribution amplifier, and then we had a cable then that was running from the distribution amplifier into the back of a skybox. Well, this would be very, very common that you would have uh, a distortion in the picture when you try to feed this and loop it off to other rooms, okay? And that's simply because the strength of the signal going into the skybox is too high, okay? And that's where an attenuator would come into its own, because it, instead of actually boosting the signal, it'll reduce the signal strength by between 0 to 20 dB, okay? And um, so basically all we would do is we feed the signal in here and see, feed the, side, the signal back out on this part of it. And if we just rotate the unit around, you can see here that on the side of it, there's just a little uh, a handle here which we can turn either with our fingers or we can use uh, a Phillips head screwdriver and turn it. And if you turn it enough, you'll hear a click. So there's just a, a, a full rotation and go around and you just turn it again. So basically it's a process of trial and error. What you'll have is you'll put this into the circuit, you'll feed it through, and then you adjust the attenuator until you see the interference dropping out. Now, if you have all of the tools, you can actually come along and do, do dB measurements on it and find what the actual optimal uh, dB level for the system is, okay? But, um, you know, it's a cheap, small little product, but it's a handy one for professional DIYers to have in their toolkit because it can make all the difference between it being practical to integrate, let's say, uh, an aerial signal into a skybox and not. And so from that reason, and as well as that, like you need no real special tools. It just works on an F connector thing and then you just use your fingers to twist and adjust it. And if you find that it improves the situation, great. And if it doesn't, you can simply take the attenuator back out of the system. So for that reason, anyway, a very, very popular tool, suitable for both DIYers uh, and uh, particularly for the trade as well.